Hi there. My name is Aaron Lanterman. I'm a professor of electrical and computer engineering at Georgia Tech. And in this video, I'm going to try setting up SharePoint as a wiki to use with my retro futuristic hardware vertically integrated projects team. I'm mostly recording this to create a reminder to myself on how to do this, but I'm hoping it helps others as well. So I've logged into Office 360, and at least the way the powers that be at Georgia Tech have this set up, it looks like I can't create a SharePoint site here directly. So I'm going to try to create one through Microsoft Teams. So let me click on Join or Create Team. Let's see, Create Team. I'm going to call this Other because a vertically integrated project really doesn't operate as a standard class. And I don't really actually want to use the various Teams features. I use other tools to actually coordinate team communication. I want to just focus on using this to set up a wiki on SharePoint. So I'm going to click Other. All right, Retro Futuristic Hard Future Futuristic. Let's see if I can spell retrofuturistic. That is a mouthful. That may not have been the best choice. I'm not going to worry about that. Okay. Next. I'm not going to worry about adding members right now. Let's skip. Just for fun, let's change the logo up here. Okay, so I'm going to say upload. And I'm going to upload our retrofuturistic hardware logo. There we go. Yes, let's choose that. Let's see. Do I need to scroll down here? Oh, I need to scroll down there. Okay, we click Update, and there we go. Now, if you are using Microsoft Teams for your team, you would want to set up a bunch of team stuff, but really, I just want to use this to get to SharePoint. Now, you would think there would be something over here to set up the SharePoint, but no, you actually have to click on these three dots. Not the three dots on top here, but the three dots that are a little lower than that right here. So I'm going to click on those and say open in SharePoint. Okay, we're now in SharePoint. Let's see, let me click there. Let's click home, see what home looks like. All right. Okay, at this point, you can bookmark this address up here and never have to look at Microsoft Teams again. Now, notice that we have this default logo here. The logo we set in Teams didn't propagate. So I'm going to go to Settings, click on that, and then I'm going to ask it to change the look. And then I want to go to the Header Settings, scroll down a bit, and we should see Site Logo Thumbnail. So let's click on Change, and then I can upload my logo. And look at that. We now have the new logo. Save changes. Okay, let's click X here. Okay, at this point, I'm going to start following some instructions that were provided to me by the vertically integrated project administrative staff at Georgia Tech with a few modifications because it looks like Microsoft changed the way that SharePoint operates since they wrote those instructions. So I could go up to the cog up here and click on site contents, or I could click on site contents over here. Either way, we get to this page here where I now want to click on site settings over here. And if I click on site settings, I want to find a section called site actions. Under there, I can click on manage site features. So let's click on that. And then if I scroll down, there should be something in here having to do with wikis. So let me search for a wiki. All right, wiki homepage. The site feature will create a wiki page and set it as your site homepage. So let me click activate. And now if I look for that, ah, I see that's been activated. So I'm not actually sure what that did, if anything, but let's keep going with the guide. The guide suggests that I click edit here on the left and that I delete the pages because they'll create confusion. The pages here are not the same as the wiki pages. So having this other thing called pages just causes confusion. And apparently site contents can cause confusion too. So it's suggested that I get rid of that. And it's suggested that I change the home here to something like wiki control panel. Here we go, display name, wiki control panel. All right, sure. And that we move it down to the bottom. Oh, and let's click save to save those changes. Okay, now according to the guide, 
there should be a plus new menu appearing somewhere here. But it's not appearing because I'm using Safari. And it turns out to get that menu to appear, I have to switch to using a different browser, a Chrome-based browser. So I'm going to switch to Brave. This does not endear me to SharePoint. Okay, so I've opened the page up in the Brave browser, and look, that new menu here has appeared. All right, so let's click on the new menu thing, and we'll select to have a new app. The instructions tell me to click on this link to bring me to the classic experience. Sure. There's a search field here, so let's look for wiki stuff. Wiki page library. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's call our wiki page library home. Okay, next I'm told to go to the wiki control panel. I'm told to scroll down a bit and look at how to use this library. So I'm going to click on that. Okay, now I'm told to click on page and click on rename page. Wait a minute, maybe I have to click on edit first. Okay, I'll click on edit, then I'll click on page. Ah, now I can rename the page. So I'm going to rename this wiki how to. Save now. And now I can click on home to go to the wiki homepage. Okay, I would like to set up a link to this homepage here above conversations. So I'm going to copy this, say edit links, and then we'll add a link. Here's the address, I'll paste that in. The text to display will be home and we'll drag that to the top of the list and then say save. All right, so I should be able to click on home and get there. And from the home page, we can get to the how to page by clicking here. All right, so here's the how to use this library. Great. So in theory, there's a couple of ways to make new wiki pages. One is to edit an existing page and then if you put the name of a new page, let's call it new page test, inside these double brackets, all right, let's save that, that should create a new link to a new page. And when you click on that, that will set up a new page, or actually it'll say the new page doesn't exist. Do you want to create it? And you could say yes. And then you could say here, bah, <laughs> I cannot type. You could say here, I can still not type. Here is my new page. All right, so let's save that, and I've created a new page. Now, if you go to the wiki how-to, it says that you should also be able to select add a page in the settings menu. But when I go up here to the settings menu, I don't see an add a page selection, so that annoys me. And apparently, I'm not the only person to ever have this problem. So if you know where my add a page menu item ran off to, and more to the point, how to get it back, please let me know.